Today we're speedrunning through Octodad, Dadliest Catch, which is basically a game where you're an octopus and also a dad. Yeah, there are going to be a ton of wacky adventures. And the nice thing about this game is it actually has a pre-built speedrun timer, so I can just start this, get started, and I don't have to worry about timing it myself. It's going to be great. But we start out in the beginning with our marriage. So we're getting married to a regular human woman, and she also thinks that we're not an octopus. She thinks we're a person. I really don't know how people make that mistake and don't realize that I'm an octopus, but I'm also not going to complain because... I I guess my boy just has to do his thing. And this game is basically about going through being an octopus, but not letting anybody find out that you are an octopus because that's bad, I guess. Which again, I really don't understand how people do not even like question this. Like, look at my head. <laughs> Who do people think I am? But yeah, we have some pretty weird movement. If you've ever played this game before, you know what it's like. You have to move one of your legs, then the other one. And yeah, it's just like a weird walking simulator that you just kind of have to get used to. And even now after playing this for way too, long i'm not completely used to it but i think i'm okay at it we're gonna get our tie and that is going to be our look we're all dressed up and ready for our wedding i'm just gonna put this on please get on me tie there you go we can open up this gate which looks like you're going to a prison or something which might be some sort of metaphor but we're not gonna talk about that right now and i accidentally put on a hat i guess i didn't mean to do that at all but for some reason we don't have a best man so we have to get the ring ourselves and for some reason the rings in that box with a bunch of jewels or something we put it on our wife and there we go we are now married and we're done with the first part of the run then we get this entire like first opening cutscene that we just don't really care about so i'm just gonna skip past that and we're gonna get continue on with our journey yeah there was probably important stuff that was happening over there but all i care about is a couple of years later when i have kids and i'm a deadbeat dad and i hate my wife and that's the kind of story that i think i go for it might not be what exactly is happening but i mean i like to think that this octopus is now a deadbeat dad so the first thing we're going to want to do is get some coffee we got to prepare that put that in there press the button there we can go and then we're also getting milk for our daughter who is named stacy so i'm going to get her some chocolate milk she thinks that it will help her be 100 feet tall which really doesn't make sense, but I guess it's a child. Can I please get through my limbs? Sometimes dealing with all your extra limbs, it's pretty awkward. And also we got a ton of chocolate milk on our carpet. I feel bad for whoever's cleaning that, but it's not gonna be me. And now our wife is gonna give us our coffee. Thank you, wife. And now we can be on our way to do the rest of the stuff we have to do in this place. First things first, we're gonna make some hamburgers. And all of my kids are trying to talk to me while I'm trying to explain this speed run. Please stop it, guys, okay? I'm busy right now. But I'm gonna cook these hamburgers. Hopefully they'll be able to turn out to something fairly good at the very least gonna just have to kind of make my way doing this and yeah as you can probably see i mean the physics in this game are just so weird and you kind of just have to keep playing it and eventually you get pretty good at them like i wouldn't say i'm perfect at these physics but i'm at least a lot better than what i started out with now we're weeding her garden our wife's a little upset at us because we kind of just stepped all over flowers but i also don't really care about that if you're gonna ask me to weed your garden you can't expect me to not also break all your flowers and we have this one one last weed please let me get that one out and now we have to mow the lawn which is probably the worst part of this game for me because we have to get this lawn mower take it out of our garage and lawn mowing physics are just so weird it's always weird when you have to carry something behind you oh god I, I don't even is this how you're supposed to use a lawn mower and for some reason our son also refuses to mow the lawn because he comes up with some excuses so it has to be me who does it and uh yeah there's some dialogue also going on in the background i just don't really care like i already have to be an Octo dad, I can't worry about my children and wife too. I can't worry about their feelings. I have a hard enough job just not getting found out that I'm an octopus, which also probably isn't the best foundation of a relationship for me to just trick my wife into thinking I'm an octopus. But we're not going to talk about that because haha, wacky octopus game. I'm going to go here, take this wood cutting axe and get rid of all this wood. Okay, it's sometimes awkward to try to find the right piece, but there we go. That should be that part. Then all we have to do is put up this bird cage. If I can make it over there, please, we can put that back up and then our crazy neighbor who is a chef who just really wants to kill us for some reason is trying to vacuum us up in his lawnmower my family also doesn't even realize this i don't know how they don't hear him yelling or all the stuff that's going on but they just don't care and i guess i broke his lawnmower but anyway now we're going to the store and we have to pick a couple things up from there after that near-death experience i do wonder if that's like an everyday thing where the chef is just trying to kill me because he really seems like on me but i'm gonna go up here unfortunately the fridge is 
freeze shut. So we have to make our way through this fridge section just like this. And oh, come on. Instead of just using the freezes regularly, I have to make my body go through here in the most awkward way possible. Go through the air conditioning vents. You know, we're just not going to worry about what's happening right now. But I got the frozen pizza. That's all that matters. Next thing we're going to have to collect is this cereal. And the thing about the cereal is this one woman also wants it. And this is my cereal. So I have to go up here so she can't get it before I can because there's a little cutscene she does. And there we go. We got the cereal now and she's going to complain about it. Okay. And next thing I want to get up here if I can use my weird limbs to try to do that and get that juice that's up there. I don't even know what's happening, please. And I fell back down. That's so sad. So I'm going to have to move up here. If I can please make my way, please limbs, limbs, you got to work with me right now. Limbs, please. You're making me lose time right now. Oh gosh. Come on. Okay. We're up here and now we just have to lift our other leg and hopefully get that. Come on, please. This game right now. I'm losing so much time at literally the dumbest spot ever. Just trying to get this. Can I please stop falling down on these boxes? Okay. Finally, that took way too long to try to get that juice and wasted me a tiny bit of time, but it doesn't matter because we got it in the end. Now we have to go get an apple. And for some reason we came to this store to get a singular apple. It's not like we're getting a couple. All I want is this one yellow apple for some reason. If I can please grab Octodad, please. You're, you're grabbing the wrong apples. There you go. You got it. I don't know who comes to a grocery store and gets only one apple, kind of, especially when I have an entire family to feed, but I guess that's what I'm doing. And the last thing that I'm going to need to get is some chocolate milk. Excuse me, sir, 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 you're in my way. Oh yeah. One thing you also might notice is no one is noticing me right now. Normally an Octodad, people will notice you and be like, oh, what is he doing? He doesn't look like a human, but we're actually playing on easy mode, which makes it pretty much impossible for anyone to notice you. And it's nice for me, especially in the later game. But we do have the chef who does notice us. And now again, he's trying to murder us. So we have to run away. I don't know why this guy is so bent on trying to literally murder us. I have an entire family and you're just trying to get like chill out, dude. But we lock him in there. We can get away. Our wife's like, oh, where were you at? Wife, you don't have to worry about it. I'm not talking to you. Like we're a person that just doesn't talk about our relationship with our wife. And she gets a little upset at that. But I mean, I'm just an octopus trying to live my life. What do you expect from me? So we have to scan all of these items. Oh, we have this frozen pizza left. And there we go. And we can leave the grocery store a little bit longer than I would have liked to take, but whatever. And our wife, this terrible person decides to take us to an aquarium, even though I have told her multiple times, I don't want to go to the aquarium, but she just doesn't listen to us and makes us go here anyway, which honestly is kind of a terrible thing to do. Limbs, come on. Let me put my ticket there. I cut in line because I don't really care about anybody else. I'm trying to get my own ticket. I don't, you know, you guys can wait a second. But yeah. Our wife is just taking us to this aquarium, even though it very obviously makes us uncomfortable. Yeah. It's kind of terrible. Also, those are marine biologists that usually will notice you if you're not good about it. But the thing is, because I am playing on easy mode, they just don't notice me doing anything. And that allows us to skip a lot of the game and just not have to worry about these people. It's kind of hilarious when you play on easy because you have all these people that like make fish comments and are like, why does something smell fishy? But they just don't notice this octopus guy running around. Yeah, I don't really think you can question this game. You just kind of have to accept what's happening. And now we have to do some learning. Basically, in the aquarium, there are three three different mini games we have to do one for each of our kids and then one for our wife so we start out with this guy's mini game where we have to press all of these things um and it gives us these so like right now i have to press the red ones before that i had to press the green ones and we have to rotate this cube to try to get them all and where is this okay there are some yellow ones we need one more of those and then we can get the purple ones and try to be fast about it i only need two more purple ones but this thing is so weird to control please give me the last two i i need one more that's it okay and there we go 27 seconds not the greatest time, but that's going to be okay. And our son's kind of a terrible person. You might've just seen him push that one girl in the slide without even caring about her. That is something that our son just did. And he's also going to do it another time in case you missed it that time. But I don't really have time to worry about that because there are more mini games I have to do like this thing where we have to uncover this. And yeah, it's just a bunch of learning stuff. Unfortunately, we have to get our son to learn instead of just being lazy, which seems like a much easier thing to do for me. But I have to press the top of this, which normally you have to do other stuff. And our son just completely pushed us there. That was really rude of them. And now we have to get all these kelps into their respective places. We have to get two of each kind into each of these cylinders. So we got that one there. And yeah, this part is kind of awkward. I'm not going to lie, especially with these, please just get them in. Son, you have to help me more. You're doing terrible throwing jobs. Okay. I'm just going to do this the other way. He's taking too long. He is terrible at his job. So I guess I have to make my job just making this stuff go in awkwardly. So we're going to do that. Take this other blue one and try to put it in there. And that is going to be that mini game. 
done as well. And then finally in this area, we have to power the sun for some reason. So we're running on this hamster wheel. Yeah, this is a image that will probably get lost in your head forever. You're probably never forgetting that. But here goes our son. He's about to push another person down the slide. Dude, what is wrong with you? But I'm not going to worry about that because I guess he's allowed to be a terrible person and we're just his dad. We won't reprimand him or anything. But while he plays a game, I'm just not going to play with him. So he's going to play this entire game where you can try to block these sea urchins with the otter. And you know, it's a pretty fun game, but I'd rather just sit here instead and watch him. I'm not going to play with my son after all the things he's done to me. He can do this by himself. So he's just going to keep playing soccer. Eventually it's going to end. And now we can move on to the last part of this little area. So for this last little part, we're going to move up here. And what we have to do is kind of climb up this entire thing, which you have to be a little bit careful about because it is very easy to fall down. Come on, please. There we go. And then we can make our way up here, which again, this part is really awkward with your limbs. You can just see everything that's going on. I, I can't even, half the time, I can't even tell what's going on. I'll be honest. We can make our way down here, finish out. Oh, look, another octopus. I'm just not going to worry about that. And now we can make our way up into this hole, which is kind of awkwardly that we have to get into. Please leg. There we go. That should get us up there if my legs will cooperate. And we can end off the level with that. And finally, we're done with this kid's section. I spent so much time with him. And finally, we finished. Thank you. you know, that is the most annoying one out of them all. And actually, now that I think about it, the other ones are very annoying too. This entire section is. Why did my wife have to take me to the aquarium? Why couldn't she just let me live my life? Why does she not care about my feelings? But I guess I also don't care about her feelings because I mean, I am an octopus pretending to be a human and just never told her. That's kind of a terrible thing when you think about it. But we're just not going to think about it. Instead, keep playing Octodad. So in this area, we're doing it with our little daughter. And the first thing we have to do is all the lights went out and we have to play some Dance Dance Revolution game. So we have to press on all of these different buttons as they show up. So like right there, we'll press on there. And you got to keep doing this until you fill the gauge all the way up until you can continue on with the level. So I'm just trying to get all of these. And yeah, it's not really a time thing. You can take as much time as you need, but this is a speed run. So we're trying to hit these as fast as possible. These do fall away, but yeah, like I said, you can take forever and yeah, it just will keep going. But I don't want to do that. This is a speed run. You know, I'm trying to go fast, even if I have to deal with all my Octodad limbs. We only need one more at this point. There we go. We can finish out there. Our daughter's like, oh, dad, please help me. I'm so scared, but I also don't really care. I'm just going to leave her. She's going to keep complaining. And again, I just don't care. Like, daughter, you can complain. I'm going to the end. I'll meet you there. And we're just going to hang out by this guy who can see us. But again, it's easy mode. He just doesn't care about blatantly knowing we're an octopus for some reason. And while it says lead Stacy through the jellies, eventually she's just going to catch back up to us. So there we go. She comes and she's like, oh, you're scared of that guy. Give me the light and I'll distract him. So we're like, okay. And we have to give her the light here. Please take it. So she takes it. And either way, we just go right in front of him because again, it's easy mode and we don't care about that. If it was a harder difficulty, then we actually would have to care about not getting seen by them. And now we have to light up all of these lights. We go in the maintenance room and I don't understand why this is my job, to be honest. Like, why am I the person who has to do this? I feel like the aquarium should have this fixed already. But for some reason, it's me, Octodad, that has to do it. And this part is really awkward too, because there are all these different things and you can get caught up really easily in that and all of your limbs can just get all over the place. But we actually did that really fast. So I'm surprised by that. And now we just have to light up the monster. So we'll start with that eye, go over here, get that over there for three. And then finally we can get the first eye if I can actually do that. And there we go. We got that guy lit up and we can go to the end. And yeah, while we thought it was a scary monster, it's actually the cuddly snuggle fish. Hooray. Haha. <laughs> what, what a great joke. Hey daughter, hurry up. And now for some reason, these escalators are going the wrong way, which really makes no sense, but whatever. I guess we have to go to the top of them, which we have to climb awkwardly with our limbs so we can press the button and make sure they go the right ways. Yeah, this doesn't really make sense, but I guess I can't really be asking for a game that makes sense when I'm playing Octodad. Like what am I really... <laughs> For. But there we go. We're going to press the buttons, allow Stacy to go through them, and we can leave. And then finally, the last thing we have to deal with in this little area is our wife. So she's going to be over here in the arcade for some reason. And what she really wants to do is talk about our marriage problems, but instead, I'm just going to play a lot of fun games. So we have to get seven different prizes for her to continue on. I'm going to steal this guy's basketball. He was just having a good time playing, but instead, I'm just going to cheat and win this way. Look, why would you play the game the way you're supposed to when you can just be an octopus? This is so much better. If we put that in six times we can leave this area get another prize right there do this one as well where we pump up this fish thing and yeah i don't even know why this is a mini game to win a prize at i feel like pretty much anybody can do this thing but whatever that's going to be another prize and we can start collecting
collecting them. Like I said, we need a total of seven different prizes to give to Scarlett. We can start out with this one and she's going to be like, oh, we can finally talk. The kids aren't here, but no, I'm not talking to you. I'm just going to play some fun mini games. Like she's really talking about some important things for our marriage. You know, some things where I don't really talk to her. I'm the worst husband ever. She thinks I might be an octopus, but I'm just not going to talk with her and instead ignore the problems and give her prizes because you know, why would you need to have a good marriage when you can have stuffed animals? So that is going to be our fourth prize. We can try to make our way out of here, which is a very awkward thing to do. Please let my legs get over there. Okay. <laughs> They really like getting stuck on things. It's so awkward for me. And then we can do this one as well, where we have to hit all these different fish. And this one's kind of awkward to do with your different limbs, but we only need to hit four of them. And I just have to not be terrible, please. One more. That is going to be four. And we can move on to our next thing instead of focusing on that, where I'm going to pull this thing all the way up to four. So that should be able to give us two more prizes right there. And we can go into this claw machine. And instead of doing the actual claw machine, again, we're just going to cheat because like, why would I do this? I'm an octopus. I don't know why they made this arcade so easy to cheat in. I feel like that's the problem of the people who made the arcade, not me. Look, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> I'm just trying to get prizes for my wife that she does not want at all and is throwing on the ground right now. But hey, this is probably the best way to save my marriage, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it. But oh no, now the tank right here has sprung a leak. And for some reason, instead of getting like a maintenance person to fix it, I have to fix it. So I have to go over here, put my hand there to make sure that it gets sprung. But oh no, now there's a bigger leak. So my wife, all the prizes I just won, she throws and says, use these instead. Is this how little you appreciate me? I have to use all the these prizes that I just won for her and use this to plug up this tank, which I'm kind of offended about. Even if I was using them to ignore talking about our marriage, I worked really hard to get all these prizes. The least you could do is appreciate them, okay? But there we go. We fixed the leak and now we can leave. And that is going to be pretty much the aquarium section of this run. All we have to do is awkwardly make our way out there with that really weird look on our face. And there we go. Now our wife's like, oh, if you actually want to talk, meet me up here. So I guess that's what we're going to do now. I mean, to be honest, I don't really want to talk. Instead, I'd rather just win more prizes have fun at the arcade but i guess you gotta do what you gotta do in a marriage so we can make our way up this really long staircase that is right here and yeah this is how you climb stairs but there we go we made it to the end we can finally go talk to our wife but there's a gigantic plot twist in that this isn't our wife it's actually a mannequin of our wife or something but we don't get to see that because we skipped the cutscene. and then we go back in time so now we get to learn the backstory of octodad which is basically i got up on the ship and then i just decided to be an octodad like i got on the ship i could just move like this and now we're just trying to become the captain of the ship and the thing is for this i skip like most of the game there are some things you can do but i choose to just skip it because that seems much easier also i just messed up right there that's kind of sad i'm gonna waste a tiny bit of time but let me just move my leg up there try to climb these stairs i don't know how these sailors do not see that anything is wrong please let me get up there it is so hard to control myself okay finally we're able to get up there i'm gonna go right here just so we can get a checkpoint in case i die right here because here's where we do pretty much the biggest skip of the run now the speed run i'm doing is any percent glitchless but this skip does not count as a glitch this is more of just yeah basically a skip if i can get it and oh barely got it we got the skip and that skips like most of the ship part so now that i'm in this area everybody thinks that i'm the captain normally you would have put on the captain's clothes so they would have been like oh captain but you know instead i'm just an octopus but because i'm in an area where the game thinks i'm the captain right now it kind of just accepts it but hey look there's our wife she's kind of cast away on this boat just like i am so i'm gonna go and save her we can break that thing using this go all the way out there to see our wife and can i please stop holding on to that again all these people for some reason think that i am the captain i don't know how this is happening also please move box things oh this is so awkward i'm trying to move all my limbs but it just won't let me okay and now this is um i'm very stuck right now i'm <laughs> kind of just slowly going through there but there we go <laughs> we made it i guess my game does not like what i'm doing right now but now we can finally meet our wife for the first time she's like oh it's the captain but again i'm just an octopus i don't even look like the captain i don't have any clothes on it's kind of funny how much this just breaks the game but i mean it works i'm just trying to speed run okay the chef that we know from the beginning is the chef on the ship and he's like oh you're an octopus and the reason why he hates us so much is because we kind of just ruin his life like we literally try to murder this man we hit him with a boat into 
into the ocean off of the ship where he was working. Actually, now I can kind of see why he doesn't like us. But anyway, now we're back in the present and it's time to go and find our family. So this is pretty much the auto scroller section. You kind of just press the button to move over and over again, try to escape things. And normally this is a pretty cool section because like you're trying to escape the sharks and all that, but it's really not for us. We don't even see the sharks because this is the fastest way to do it. All you have to do is repeatedly press the button instead of kind of like winding up your charges. And yeah, you get this entire area where you get to see a bunch of things through the aquarium. It's a pretty cool area, but again, it's basically an auto scroller. We do get this area where we have to be a little specific about where we have to go through these things. So I have to charge that up right there, charge up right there, get a concussion, but it's okay because a mild concussion never hurt anybody. And I guess multiple mild concussions never hurt anybody, but we're just going to keep getting our unfortunate concussions. I mean, I guess we're an octopus already. What's the worst that can happen? I don't really know what I'm trying to get to right now, but now we have to get through this fan part. And this part's also really annoying trying to get the cycle. We go back through here and then right there, we start getting chased by the shark again, but we also don't really see him because we're going too fast. And now we're in the place with dolphins. So they're like, oh, we're dolphins. We don't like sharks. We'll help you. And there we go. We're pretty much done with this area. Yeah, to be honest, there's not too much to say about it. I'm just violently pressing my A button and hoping that this ends fast. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. We made it to the end. We see our little daughter right here in this cutscene. But then the chef's like, oh, I have to talk to you about something. So he takes them. We have to go save them. So the chef cannot tell them that we are an octopus because that would kind of ruin my family. I mean, if I was Octodad's wife and he never told me that he was an octopus, I would probably be pretty upset. Just lying to me our entire marriage. Like that's pretty awkward. But anyway, we can make it past this area. Okay. This is on top of me right now. Can you please get off? This is so awkward. I do not mean to have this on me. I don't know what to do right now. Please get off of me, dude. We can make it past these things though. It's just like this thing is literally so annoying. Okay. We got past that and we can get past all the scientists because again, easy mode, they just don't care. Normally they'd be catching us and being like, Hey, you're an octopus, but yeah we can just kind of go through. And now we get to this final area where there are a bunch of more scientists and usually you'd have to do a bunch of puzzles. You'd have to break a bunch of things, be pretty specific about it, actually play the game. But instead, I rather just feel like getting to the end of it. Playing the game is for people who are playing it the first time. This is a speed run, all right? I'm just trying to make it through as fast as possible for some reason. I'm an Octodad, all right? We can make our way, put ourselves in this tray return place, get into a cutscene where the chef is like, oh, your guy's an octopus. And they're like, no, he isn't. And he's like, yeah, obviously. He is an octopus. Have you not seen him? And now they basically learned that I'm an octopus. So the jig is up. Also, did I just die? Are you kidding me? I seriously just messed that part up. Well, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to ignore that happened. Anyway, my family knows I'm an octopus right now. My daughter always knew, but for some reason, my wife and my son didn't. And I really wonder how that's happened because I mean, I would assume that my wife seen me naked, but I guess I just don't want to talk about that. So we're just going to wait for this boy to come here. He's trying to attack us, but our son comes to our rescue. He's like, I'll save you, dad. And then we get to this point where basically we have to stop the fire because yeah, the chef literally made the entire room go on fire. Also, this is really awkward. Okay, now we have to use these awkward physics to hopefully make it through here. And please, we're almost there. Oh, and we did it. Okay, that was so close. Like you're not supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to be way more careful, but we barely hit the place so we could get our daughter to go right there and hit that down. So I'm just not gonna worry about it. It's time to finish out the game. What we have to do to finish this game is plug up all of these different holes with these fish things. So our wife is gonna throw them to us. We go and pick them up. Please let me pick this up, dude. And then we put them on top of the fish thing. And there we go. That is going to be one. Then we can go over to the next one, try to plug this up too. I am literally so close to the sub 30 minute. I just need this to happen. Okay, that's going to be two. Please, Octodad, just work with me, dude. I'm not gonna ask you for any anything other than that. I just want you to finish this out. There we go. That is going to be three. The chef does get overwhelmed and he's like, oh, something's happening, blah, blah, blah. He gets hit up there. He gets stuck in this fish thing. But instead of killing him, which we very much should do because he's tried to kill me, we hug him. But we don't get to see that cutscene because that's the end of the run. And there we go, 2932. So the story from there is the chef goes, oh, I guess you're a good person. I'll let you live. And yeah, this entire game really doesn't make any sense. But whatever, it's Octodad and that's our speed run for it. And if we look on speedrun.com, we can see that our time takes a nice and comfortable 16th place. So I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, there's a lot of improvement that could be made, but there's only so much Octodad I can take. But this is a really fun speedrun to grind and just get better at because it feels really good as you're able to control Octodad more and more. And yeah, I'm definitely glad I tried out the speedrun. So that's our any percent glitch this run. I think the any percent category is also really cool. So I'm going to link that in the description as well if you want to check that out because honestly, really cool run. It's 
skips a lot of stuff and it's just pretty fun to watch. But with all that out of the way, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also, I do plenty of speedruns on this channel, both old nostalgic game speedruns and newer speedruns as well. So if you're interested in that content, maybe check it out and subscribe. But enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.